Hey, orange one here. So um, I was looking things up. These prototype cyborgs, um, they won't join us unless I have a control laptop and the mods that I've got on disable that or blacklist that item. And I'm not really sure how to unblacklist it. And I could just like debug it in, but I don't feel like doing that. I do want to get access to this auto dock though. Uh, yeah, unlock that door. I just want to kill this uh, nurse robot because they're really annoying. They can... they've got a pretty nasty attack that... it does surgery on you. So I don't want that. Um... Huh. Android skeleton? Did I build an android? That's different than a cyborg, right? I feel like the cyborgs are the ones that you can turn into companions, but I don't think that we can then use that that person's parts and make ourselves a little companion. What was I doing? I've like completely forgotten what where I've been and what doors I've like checked out. Um so we're just kind of basically pushing the lab a little bit more. That's that's my game plan for this episode is to just uh, go through this lab, exploring, seeing what we can find, and um, yeah, that makes me nervous. That smoke it could just be a smoker or it could be an ichus. Uh, I heard something about a warrant. What is that? What are you guys? Um, weaponry is DNA locked. So I think they've got ranged attacks. I'm pretty sure. And so they're basically little walking turrets, which make me very nervous. Not looking to walk into a, a turret. Oh, what's this? Um, yeah, that's read that and just kind of check it out. Oh, those dudes are the ones that have been making the cop things. It's like the reference to Oblivion. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Um, okay, well, this lab journal did not give us anything particularly useful. No crafting recipes or anything. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, that's a Shogoth. I had a feeling, seeing so many blobs there, indicated that there was something. What language was that? Jeez. Uh, how are we doing against this thing? Kevlar Hulk. Yeah, Kevlar Hulks, remember, we, we had a, a whole bunch of them at that one place. Uh, we're out of ammo. Um, hold on. Let's just back up a little bit more. Yeah. We can take these guys out. I just don't want to run out of ammo while we're doing so. Okay, he's about to go down. Really? There we go. What about this guy? I think I'm just going to keep on falling back a little bit more. And how about now? Okay, yeah, they're, they're good. Nice. Okay. Kevlar zombies are down. I'm getting a little nervous about how much ammo we have left. Yeah, I've only got 11 shots left, so I'm going to head back up. Get us out of here. I think the exit was, like, up here somewhere. Right? I don't know, to be honest. I'm kind of wandering around. Um, east and below, there's something hitting something. Yeah, here we go. Cool. And so we're back at the car. Let's go ahead and just unload a little bit of what we've got with us. Oh, look, there's some zombies around here. Let's make sure the surface is clear. I think that I heard something in there, too. Yeah, there's something over there. I know I should clear them out, but I, I kind of don't want to. 
And you know what also we should probably do? We should probably be carrying the exacto knife on us. Yeah, let's get one of those exacto knives and carry that with us. Because we're probably going to do some dissections. Um, and then we'll dump some of the stuff that we don't really need. Don't really need the that or that. I think that we're good then. Go ahead and head back down. I know we should probably be making our new gun all fancy and everything, but actually, hold on. What was I just want to check because we have the book up here, and we were looking at those android limbs. Can I see what I can build with an android limb? Uh, how do you spell android? No, uh, nothing. Kind of strange that it's an item, but we can't build anything with it. Uh, component, I'm gonna go with Stella. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that we could craft with android limbs and stuff. What was that that was getting torn down? Kind of weird. Anyways, let's, let's head back down. I think I'm just gonna avoid those Robocops because they have like range attacks, you know. Doesn't seem like a smart move. I think though that we've mostly cleared out this level. Um, but we just wanna make sure that we've been thorough. What's this note? Turret? Okay. So don't go up there. But what about like these doors? There's a couple doors like here. This is where that Shogoth was. Yeah, this is where that Shogoth was. Oh, look at that. There's there's three dead scientists here. Good, good to have a look at those CBMs that they've got. Um, I'm pretty sure that that we were looking at those Robocops here. This hallway is a dead end. I just kind of don't want to deal with them. I'm not really in the mood for fighting ranged enemies. I mean, we have full health. We're actually in decent shape. I think we could probably take them if we really wanted to. Um, I just don't really want to, you know. Oh, look, there's a skeletal brute. Um, kind of am trapping myself here. Just uh, Let's just wait for them to come to us. I think we can take him. Yeah, we got this. Nice. Okay, good job, Nosh. Um, I do see those doors to the side there, which is making me a bit curious. And there's this Mego. Yeah, let's uh, check out these doors. I'm sorry if I'm rushing a little bit. I I'm just excited. I should probably be slowing down. This is a place where you could just get shot, you know? Oh, what's this? Um, barracks? Did I hear something on the other side? I'm just waiting a little bit. Yeah, there's something like right there. Well, this could end poorly. Uh, let's try and unlock. It looks like we unlocked it successfully. Um, yeah, that that's an issue. He has a bunch of drones inside. Okay, so I probably am not going to go to that barracks. Um, and we probably could take it out, honestly. It's just gonna deploy things that are gonna explode, which could kill me, you know? Oh look, there's um, yeah, some zombies. Oh, that didn't, that one didn't die. I'm impressed. Yeah, that's looking good. 
So I don't know if I, uh, I mentioned this already, I feel like I haven't, but this is actually the first day since the coronavirus shut down the school district that I'm at. And it is weird, man. I, I slept in till like 11, which was amazing, don't get me wrong. Kind of weird, like, not knowing when I'll go back to work, you know? I'm sure that there's a lot of people that are like that, like, I'm sure, is that happening with you as well? First, has everything shut down for you? The one good so thing about that is that it uh, may may uptick my YouTube viewership, right? Oh, what's this? On Earth, I a Kevlar zombie. Is that what I think it is? Is it the barracks? The barracks. Can I shoot you? I just kind of want to be aware though because there might be something that we don't want to fight. Yeah, there's a Kevlar Hulk right there. I suspected as much. There's this Kevlar dude. I think we can take him out though, and the fact that he's going for me means that I don't think that there's a turret in there. Which is good. Okay, we are using a lot of ammo on him though. Uh, maybe I wanna... Really? Okay, we're out of ammo. Um, can I run upstairs? I don't think he'll follow me, but he might. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a problem because now that thing is hurt, but it's like right by there, and I feel like if I step downstairs, it's just gonna throw me into the wall. Maybe that we could go over here and like just shoot and that sound might attract them away. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. Okay, yes, it did. Good. You gotta use sound, man, they're zombies. They're not very smart. Um, let's just peek out here. It looks to me like we're in the clear. I feel like they may have killed a turret themselves. Well, it looks like they ripped through a number of walls here. Uh, that's just uh, the peak though. Not seeing any enemies. I am seeing a number of useful items. Let's just go in here and check it out. This. Um. Okay, some more. Pretty good guns. I don't think I'm gonna pick them up unless it is absolutely amazing. Let's just have a look at the guns. What guns do we have here? Is that the same as my current gun? I'm pretty sure that is. If I compare my gun. No, that's the uh, boss thing. Yeah, let's have a little comparison of mine to that. Yeah, I think mine's a little bit better because I've got more stuff on it. But it, it's essentially the same gun. They do have yeah, they they don't have anything that's like particularly like amazing amazing. They do have um They got some good stuff in here. I'm pretty happy with this find. I, I'm very happy with this find, I should say. There's another Stan Egg magazine. Man, we have so many magazines. Getting absolutely insane. Get the ammo as well. I think we're gonna need to haul this all back up when we're done. Take that, and we'll unload the other thing here. Yeah, we're gonna have an absolute insane amount of stuff. We're done here. 
Um, what else do we have? EMGs, that's nice. That's good for our sniper. Very cool. Some more NATO magazines. Some more NATO magazines. Man. I'm not even going to take the ammo, though. Take that. This is just absolutely insane. How much stuff that we just got. It was so easy, too. We just had to kill a couple Kevlar zombies, which we probably could have done. Um, with just the stuff that we found there. And that dude's got two grenades on him. And he's got another magazine for us. We're, we have so many magazines that our character's encumbered. Little baton defense. I don't think that's anything that I really want. Yeah, I know that we're incredibly overloaded in terms of weight. I just am interested to see... Oh wow, look at this. Broken Riot Dispatch. That must have been what was defending this area that those uh, Kevlar zombies killed. And it looks like it blew up a number of things as it went out. Pretty crazy. Um, I think we should probably go up at this point. Yeah, I mean, we definitely should go up at this point. We have so much stuff. Kind of insane. Um, and then I think... Our way out of here was somewhere... I remember these holes in the ground. Is it... Yeah, it's right over there. Cool. It's it's coming back to me. I'm, I'm figuring out how this lab's laid out. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for like two weeks, two plus weeks, with all the free time. Probably just going to do this. I'm honest. But I gotta find it. I don't know. I gotta find some other stuff to do as well. Um. Oh, we're carrying all these guns. We don't need to be doing that. <laughs> yeah, drop all of that. Completely unnecessary. No wonder we we were having a hard time. Uh, and put these away. Man, when we get our little army of cyborg people, eventually, we're gonna have enough magazines and guns to give everyone one. <laughs> That'd be insane. Uh, I think that that's pretty good, though. Pretty happy with that. We just essentially need to make sure we don't just get railed on by some turret. Besides from that, I'm feeling relatively safe. I would really like the medical mutagen book, though. I feel like that's kind of like what I'm hunting for. Like, once I find that, I'm probably going to take a little break from the lab and turn myself into said medical mutant. But who knows how long that's going to be. Okay, there was... Uh... I think this is where we were, right? Yes, this was where we were. And if I'm looking out here... Uh, there's something over there. Who knows what? Or no. Oh, no, there's... There's a loud beeping sound above us. I really should just be smashing you. We'll just smash you with the gun. I'm not even gonna get the Jane out. That's kind of weird. There's just a bottle at the end of that row there. What do we have here? This might have some good stuff. USB, restaurant guide. That's kind of random. A restaurant guide down here. Okay. Um, is that fungal? Stuff on the ground there. I'm looking there. Any good books? No, not really. 
Oh, yeah, there's, um, a lot of fungus there. That makes me definitely a little nervous. I don't know what to make of this. I look there, bionic vault. Ooh. Bionic vault? Yes, uh, manifest. Ah, uh, nothing. Nothing that I really want there. That's a shame. What do you have in here? Fungal clumps and a first aid kit. Do fungal clumps spawn more fungal things? Uh, there is a security robot. There. Is it fighting that scientist? Or are they like friends with each other? I feel like they're friends with each other. That mutagen tank, what is this the end? The standing tank. Pretty sure that's the end. Is that a portal? Shimmering portal. Okay, well we probably don't want to be near that because that's gonna spawn in enemies. Probably what brought in the fungus in the first place. That looks like that kind of is what ended this lab before we got here. And I don't think we're gonna get any medical mutagen book here, unfortunately. That's the end of the lab. Uh, close that. See, that turret is gonna end my day. I'm not careful. Uh, what are you? Guard cyborg? Disturbing gun barrel where the arm should be. Uh, yeah, I'm not fighting that. That, I'm pretty sure, would kill me. And the one thing that we could do is turn off our flashlight and make sure we've got the infrared vision on. Sounds to me like he's kind of close to the door. If I open this, okay, they're kind of far away. I'll close that, open this, and see if I can shoot him. I have unclear as to what I'm shooting at, though. There's that, and then I go one, two, three, four, five. I, I think we're shooting. Uh, I don't know what I'm aiming at. Stop aiming. Where are they? I think that they've kind of gone around a corner. Yeah, I, I'm getting nervous. I don't I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. Um and Okay, there's a lot of security robots there. Okay. I don't feel prepared for them. It is good to know that that's there. And I feel like right here is the mutagen tank. Um, whatever the mutagen is, I don't really know. Could try coming down from a different side. I feel like, again, we can um, turn off our flashlight and try and shoot these guys from a distance. It is an option. They're kind of close to that door. Yeah, let's not do that. It seems like a bad, bad idea. And here's here's the safe option. The safe option is to just uh, wait a little bit and let the zombies respawn, and then they'll actually kill the turrets for us. Where's my aim at? There we go. We try and kill the scientist, and we could we could do that relatively easily. Ooh, actually, they blinded me. Um, run back a little bit. I was not expecting that. Either down. 
I'm gonna close that. Turn on the flashlight. Yeah, we're not seeing the robots anymore. Not sure where they went. Um. I gotta think about this for a little bit. To how I want to proceed. I think we want to maybe fall back and come down from a different way. I heard something about the portal. That that worries me. I think that we should probably just get out of here and consider ourselves to be lucky to be alive. That's probably the smart move. And we got all those guns. Right? Okay. Go up. I'm gonna keep the flashlight on just because it helps with the exploring. And let's just uh let's go down and over and see if we can look at the that lower floor and see some other stuff. Um, we got the enhanced memory so we should be able to look around us pretty far. Is there any downstairs around here at all? Not really. Yeah, crazy. There's like no downstairs around here. About feel like that we, there was like that turret or whatever that was up there and disposable battery I don't know what I would even use that for to be honest did I go through here why have I not gone through here this seems like a place that I should have gone through a while ago oh look purifier nice yeah, this seems kind of odd that I haven't gone through here yet. Um, best tube. That, what I think it is. Yes, more purifier. Sweet. So I could probably get rid of the mutants, mutations that I got um, like from that radiation at this point if I really wanted to. I don't think I do want to though. Not really something that like, the Light Eater is kind of nice. The Nomad trait... I, do we even have the Nomad trait anymore? Because I haven't noticed it. Yeah, we do actually still have the Nomad trait, so we do need to keep on moving. Oh, what's this here? Oh, look at that. A barracks? There's another barracks? Okay. And there's another auto dock? Man. That is awesome. Is that... Trifluresis kit, nice. If this bleach um, is partially full, yeah, I'm gonna unload that into the container that already has bleach and just dump. Um, hold on, what? Can I drop one of those? I thought we tried to unload it. That's the same container. It's definitely not. Refill. Here we go. That was kind of weird how that was working there. Or not really working. Um, this, I think, is that end game part. Yeah. Something going on over there. Is this uh, going to be full of cyborgs? I think this is another. I think it's gotta be full of cyborgs. Yeah, we've got more cyborgs. Man, if we get a control laptop, we could potentially get eight companions. And they're directly underneath the other thing of cyborgs, too. That is absolutely insane. Yeah, I, I think I want to get that control laptop and do that. That seems well worth it. Principles of effective communication. Uh, it won't help me in terms of speaking skill. Uh, it sounds to me like there's something on the other side of this. Uh, I kind of want to see what it is. And then we'll end the episode. Product. What is all that? 
iBot. Um, can I get a little peek? What is that? A bio operator? Oh, we can take a bio operator. We can easily handle that. And they're they're tough. Don't get me wrong, but against ranged guns, we got this under control. Like I think one more shot and we go down. Yep. Anything else? There's something there. Yeah, another bio operator. I had a feeling it might be more of the same because they tend to spawn together. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Um, I think that they have CBMs in them as well, don't they? Pretty sure they do. In any case, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.